Okay guys, today we are going to take a look at a really awesome backpack. The backpack we're going to take a look at is the Vertex Gamut backpack. It's in the carbon gray color. Uh, they also offer it in a black color. Um, I'm about six foot two, 210 or so pounds. Uh, and this is the normal size backpack. And as you can see, um, it fits me just fine, but at the same time, it doesn't look really small. So even if you're a larger person, a taller person with a longer torso, <clears throat> and speaking of that, my torso length for like backpacks and stuff is about 19, 19 to 20 inches. Um, the standard Vertex Gamut, uh, the one I'm wearing right now, um, I think fits very well. It doesn't feel too big, but at the same time, it doesn't feel really small. I've had day packs in the past that just, they feel tiny. Even if they fit a lot of gear, they just, they, they, they didn't fit me properly. Okay guys, this is a little better view of the backpack we're talking about. Like I said, it's the Vertex Gamut in the carbon gray color. I chose the carbon gray color because um, I try and stay away from black colored uh, backpacks and bags. Um, not always, I have a couple in that color. Um, I just thought that the gray blended a little bit better in nature and also, I don't know, it just fit, I guess, my personality a little bit better. So before we get on to the internals, uh, you got two kind of stretchy um, elastic water bottle pockets. I will agree with other reviews of this backpack that I've read and watched. They do not hold water bottles that well. Um, that's what they're designed for though. Uh, they're kind of wand pockets for water bottles. Um, but once you load up these pockets right behind them, uh, these are very uh, tight. They don't, you know, so they're still usable, but probably not for at least full size water bottles. Uh, so next you have this side pocket here. You have it on both sides. And um, I like this one a lot. So, you have a slip pocket right here, which at least right now I just have a, a pair of pliers or a, and a little pry bar in. Um, this would be a great place to <clears throat> put like a folding saw because it's kind of hidden, but at the same time it's really quick to get to. You could put a larger flashlight in there. Um, I mean, it's kind of up to your imagination and what you're planning on putting in this. And then right here, you have this durable mesh. It's not that kind of cheesy no see -um mesh and stuff that is super lightweight that's on a lot of like lightweight backpacking packs. This is a very thick mesh, and you can uh, see through it. So I just have some aluminum uh, tent stakes on the inside. On this side here, um, I have a Silky Gomboy and I have a Renova Trio uh, water filter straw. Uh, this pocket is a little bit bigger so you could fit some other goodies and then it also has these. So this is kind of an admin pocket. You can put pens and pencils, flashlights, uh, batteries, knives maybe, um, a lot of stuff in these smaller pockets. And then th it also has another uh, mesh pocket. So I just have some Siloom uh, glow sticks in there. Okay, so next you have this pocket right up here. Um, it's kind of hidden, which I like. Um, I, and I just have a small survival tin and a, a small sear kit in there. But I mean, you can put if you're using this kind of for like hiking stuff, you could put your wallet, your keys, your cell phone, whatever. It has this little kind of keychain fob so you could hook um, maybe a little light to it or your keys or anything that um, you just kind of want secured so they don't accidentally fall out. <clears throat> I like that pocket because it kind of just totally blends in. It's kind of hard to see that there's a pocket even there. Um, next. I'm a big fan of this feature. Like I said, this looks like a standard civilian type, just normal everyday backpack. Well, it is, but it has some hidden features. So you have this pull tab right here, right? 
and right there you have some uh, molly strips. So you have uh, one, two, three, four, so four columns wide, and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven high. So you have a seven by four molly. Um, so it's roughly seven inches by about 15 inches this way. You do have a couple layers of hook and loop uh, molly. Um, so you could, you know, put a morale patch, first aid patch, whatever. Uh, you could also put Velcro back pouches right here, or you can just use this as traditional molly, uh, molly webbing to put pouches. So I haven't picked up the pouches yet, but I'll probably put like a medical kit right down here and then up here kind of like an admin type kit and then that way I can get to the stuff I need quickest and it's right on the outside. But <clears throat> if you don't want people seeing your goodies or whatever, um, maybe you're using this in a tactical aspect and you have some pistol or rifle mags here. Um, when you're in public, you're, when you're around people, you can just zip this up here and uh, no one's the wiser. Now it's going to be hard to illustrate this but you have these two Hypalon snaps here, right here, and there's a snap right in here, which I know you won't be able to see this on camera, but <clears throat> you snap these up, like so, and you tuck this back in. Now if somebody uh, did no, that this was a pocket. See, it won't come down. <clears throat> when those are snapped, you can use this as a large pocket. You could stuff a hoodie back there, or you could toss a lightweight jacket, stuff like that. Some people call this a beaver tail. Um, I don't. I, I think that phrase is, is that's just weird. Um, <clears throat> but it has these aluminum G hooks right here. And um, I'm not going to take it out, but the, you have nylon webbing and they hook into these tabs on the side of the pack here. So you can expand it out so you can use this to hold a helmet or stuff like that. So maybe if you use this as a commuting pack or on a motorcycle, <clears throat> when you're done you could just hook your helmet right in there. You have yet another pocket, okay? You have this large pull handle, which I think is a little obnoxious, but at the same time it kind of makes sense for what they designed this pocket for. It does have some um, soft-sided Velcro right here, or hook and loop. It also has like a little pouch right here um, with some of that mesh, so you could almost stick like a key in there. So this is called your EDC pull handle, and like when you're wearing the pack, you can access this pouch here. It zips all the way down, I'm not going to. You have some uh, Velcro, and I believe it's trademarked, brand named Velcro, on both sides. So you can see there, so you can put, uh, <coughs> so you can put, like, this is the Hill People Gear tool roll. You can just pop that right there, and <coughs> zip it up, it's kind of hidden, and then when you need it, you just open it up, pull this off, and there you go. You can put rifle mags back here, you can put your concealed carry pistol back here. That's kind of what it's designed for. Uh, you could also put your laptop back here. I have a pretty large laptop and it fit back here just fine. Just keep in mind that there is some padding here, so it, it will be protected, but not as protected as the dedicated pouch. <clears throat> right in here, that's the frame sheet, which I'm not going to take out. Another thing I've read about is you can get ballistic bulletproof panels and pop it in here. You can either pop it behind this pack pocket or just glue some Velcro onto the panel and Velcro it in right here. <clears throat> I also want to mention these are very durable YKK zippers. Um, this is a larger than normal zipper right here, which makes sense. Larger than um, what's on the main pockets. Um, but it's very very durable self-repairing zipper. <clears throat> While we're back here, the shoulder harness um, is kind of basic with some pretty cool benefits. It has these nylon daisy chains right here. So you can hook carabiners, you could hook a water bottle, you could hook, I don't know, camera. 
pair of binoculars, I don't know, a whistle. Uh, you can also route your hydration tube. Um, there's an elastic bungee right here. You can ho hook your hydration tube and kind of weave it back and forth through here. <clears throat> it has this Hypalon panel right here, which has cutouts for a small molly pouch. So you could hook a compass pouch or a GPS pouch, a point and shoot camera pouch, uh, maybe a bear spray or pepper spray holster, um, stuff like that. You could weave it through this and secure it so it's right at your ready. You could also hook like a small knife in there, a small flashlight or whatnot. You have a non-adjustable sternum strap right here on a lot of packs. Uh, they adjust up and down. This one does not. And then you kind of have this cool buckle so you can remove the sternum strap if you don't use it and you find that it gets in the way. Uh, right down here, um, this thing, as you can see, so this right here is one upset, um, one downside to this pack. So when I got this pack, I heard that you can run uh, large zip ties through this hidden channel. So this is right here, and you can run them up here through this loop and kind of hide them in the shoulder strap. But then also you pull this tab, and you can pull them down, and you can get them really quick. So the Velcro and the little tabs right here, but you can see right here there's stitches. So you can run something very small, like you could, I don't know, you can run something really small, but you cannot run zip ties through this, which is what they claim that you can do. So I would recommend the company, you either fix that problem or you take that off your listed features of this pack. Um, but that's a small, small deal, it's not a big deal. And then you have uh, quick release buckles on both sides of the pack. So you can quickly um, doff your pack. You do have a very chintzy waist strap down there. Uh, some people use them, some people don't. Um, it's just a one inch piece of webbing um, with a quick release buckle. It, it's more to keep the, um, it's more to keep the, pack from jostling back and forth and keep it on your back but it doesn't really provide a lot of support and then you can also hide these straps right here inside of this pocket or you can take this webbing off and you can run a thicker belt right through this channel here uh, right here before I forget it has a channel so you can hook it um, onto a roll away rolling luggage so you can use this as a carry-on um, I do want to mention that's another use of this pack. It's sized properly so you can use it for airline carry-on. <clears throat> you have these two snaps right here. And again, this is kind of a security. I will say they're kind of hard to snap. But you have these two snaps right there and there. Okay. So pretty much... You can, the zippers will stop right there, and you can flip this open. Okay, so you can use it like a, a uh, you can just stuff stuff in here or take stuff out really easily. <clears throat> While we're right here, you have some pen pockets, some knife, some flashlight pockets, whatever you want to use them for. Um, so I just have an Olight S30 baton right here, Leatherman Skullet Tool, an extendable magnet, and an automatic center punch. And then this is also hook and loop, so you could possibly hook pouches or hook patches, whatever, onto there. Um, so let's open the guts of this pack. So you can hold on to this tab right here and just swing it open. But I have some 550 cord. This is a Thermalite reactor. I just use it in place of a really light sleeping bag. I also have just this SOL bivy so I can use them in unison. I have my uh, Blackjack Model 5, one of the best knives ever. I have a multi-cam poncho, it's really multifunctional. <clears throat> you have two mesh pockets right down here. The, f the top one I have empty and then the bottom one I just have some um, wipes or whatever, sports wipes. 
and a heavy male uh, space blanket. Moving to the back, you have another mesh pocket which is slightly wider. In here, I'm not going to take it all out, but I just have some coffee, some apple cider, some cocoa, some tuna, some different snacks, some goo energy chews. This is just not really food, but it's just quick pick-me-ups and stuff like that. Quick snacks right in here. Uh, you can put documents, you can put your electronics cables, charging cables, stuff like that. In the laptop compartment, I will mention I have like a 15 or 17 inch laptop. Slides right in here. This is really thickly padded. It slides right in and it comes up to about right, right there. Um, so it fits large laptops. You can also use this Velcro tab right here to hang a Camelback hydration bladder and slide it in here. The benefit of that is this nylon on the back of this pouch is kind of water resistant. So if your hydration bladder does leak, it will kind of protect your other gear. Uh, this foam will also insulate your hydration bladder, so if you're working in hot weather, it will kind of keep your water cooler for a little longer. Um, in this Gafaro pull-out pouch, I just have a sniper vial, sniper veil, um, a, uh, it's kind of like a schmog, but a hundred times better. I have 10, I believe, 24-inch uh, zip ties. have uh, 30 feet tubular uh, blue water uh, webbing, climbing rated webbing. I have my trusty pry bar and I have my hardcore hammers carpenter's axe and a kydex um, sheath right here. So you can see that's right there. Really quick, handy, um, very very nice. So, I hope you guys like this quick review, overview of this awesome pack. Um, if you're on the fence about buying this pack, I would recommend picking it up. Um, I bought this from Optics Planet. I don't get any cape packs from them, but they have an awesome return policy. If you do not like this pack, uh, you can gladly return it as long as you have all the return labels and uh, um, tags and stuff saved. Um, they'll pay for the shipping to ship it back to them and you'll get a full refund so if you like my videos go back to my home page and if you like what you see feel free to subscribe uh, feel free to leave a comment on this video if you use this pack like this pack and be sure also to give this video a big thumbs up but until next time stay prepared